the ninth ranked Tar Heels of North Carolina against the top ranked Blue Devils of Duke. Because they will always come to play, Mike. You're never going to catch them where they're really coming in soft. They're coming in playing lightly. One of the things to keep an eye on, Derek Phelps, who has really played well as the point guard, being checked by Bobby Hurley. He's going to really have to play well today. That was a great pass. Lynch with a left hand, and it's 2-0 Carolina. Five in the last six years, the final four. Hurley had it spin out on it. Rebound in by Davis, blocked by Montross. Got it back. Three-second call. Good matchup with Brian Davis player and Hubert Davis. Davis, an excellent long-range shooter. There's the three-pointer, Brian Reese, who has really come on. Excellent passer, good role player. Montrose has got to go down in deep and use his great size down in the box. Sullivan hasn't shot well. There's Hubert Davis. That's a two. This is what you were as a freshman. And boy, has he really improved in that area. He's shooting 43% from three-point range. And the book had said when he came here that he wasn't a good three-point shooter. Hubert Davis forced it, got it anyway. For the shot and doesn't provide much offense. Smart player, good D. But when he's on the floor, you're not going to get any points from him. Came with the reputation as a passable. What a pass by Phelps. He's the three. Ryan Davis, the guy that's like their fourth and fifth option in their offense, delivers with the open shot. Davis has five. Phelps, I'll tell you what, this kid can play. Knows who to go to. He knows who the shooters are on the floor. The runner missed. Antonio Lang off balance. Davis back down court. Made it, and he's fouled by Clark. Excellent play by Hubert Davis. He protects the basketball in transition. 24-20. Salvadori, offensive rebound and scores off the miss by Donald Williams. Tremendous class coming in next year in North Carolina. Lang with a jumper, spins out. Carolina trying to cut into a two-point lead. Oh! Basket counts by Donald Williams and the foul. Give me a break, my Patrick. I'm ready to dive out of the boot up here. Double pump better than anybody in college basketball. For you young kids, that's the way to get free inside or get fouled. Montrose taking gets up free score. this time, leans in, a lot of contact, no whistle. Montrose keeps it alive. Salvadori tipped it in. They're playing the two big guys together. Excuse me, that was Sullivan, Sullivan who got Sullivan. credit for it. I saw three and thought it was 33. Well, we're so high up, Mike. This is nosebleed section here. We've got a timeout, and Montross has a cut on the side of the head. It looks a lot worse than it is, I guarantee you. And here is the injury to Montross. Watch Thomas Hill. They will headbutt here in a second. Yeah, there's number 12 making contact on Montross's head. It looked like Hill really got the worst of it, but Montross is the guy who comes out bleeding. And the doctor just said to Dean Smith, hey, it's not too bad. We just got a little scratch here. A jump shot, though. Think about shooting the jump shot. He doesn't even think about it. Lynch. Sullivan tips it in again. He's got great hands to make that happen. Huber Davis with the miss. And Lynch with the steal back against Leitner. Oh, I see Leitner stand his ground. I mean, he doesn't go for the face so calm. Hubert Davis down the lane. It goes, and he's fouled. Hubert Davis has become a much better player. Ball reversal. So important to the North Carolina offense. Swinging the ball side to side. Montross, great pass to Phelps. Good look from the backside. That wine and cheese crack that uh, Florida State made. Davis with a miss, contact with, Mon contact with Montross, no foul. Duke went into a double stack, one four set. Reese, nice fake. He has really improved offensively. He is a much better shooter than when he came to Carolina as a freshman. And they the lead is now three. Oh, Here's the steal. Give it up, George. Give the rock up, George. Reese. Got it. That's Brian Reese. Get a T.O., baby. Mikey K. Get a T.O. Mike Krzyzewski has seen enough. He has excellent hustle. You got the strength of Montrose against the finesse of Leitner. 
when they're looking for him a lot now. Double, double team Montrose. Nice defense. Well, he did a great job of beating them to the basketball. 16-18 to go from Chapel Hill. Three Duke turnovers in the second half. Only one from Carolina. Phelps couldn't get the roll. Lynch. That's what they need. The offensive rebounding power of George Lynch. Hey, they're waking up. Lead cut to 7, 15, 18 to go in the ballgame. Derek Phelps, Salvadori number 33, is in there along with Montrose. Good feed, and Leitner just let him go. That's what he has to do. Be a little bit more aggressive more offensively. Eric Montrose is playing as well tonight as I've seen him in a North Carolina uniform. They need some help out there, Duke. Sullivan kicks it back to Phelps. Montrose hustles after the rebound. Great job. In today's day and game, you have to be able to shoot the basketball. You become a liability. Bobby Knight addressed that yesterday at his press conference about the fact that we have to make some changes because people are not playing Chris Reynolds or Meeks. And Montross uh, bleeding again. Seems like he's been a fighter. Been yeah. A fight, a heavyweight championship battle. I'll tell you what, this time he got poked in the eye. The last time he got hit in the side of the head. T.O. Uncle Dean. I'm getting T.O. Uncle Dean. 50 to 48, the lead cut back to two. Down the lane, what a beautiful drive by Brian Reese. Some basketball. He has nine points. Grant Hill back the other way. Leitner kept it alive. Leitner blocked by Salvadori, who did it flat footed. Salvadori coming into this game leads them in block shots. He's he gonna, has his first two points. The lead is cut to two. He's going to be a solid player when he starts to get a lot of PT, and that'll begin next year when Christian graduates. Hubert Davis, that's a two. Right there for another block shot. Out of the zone, they changed defenses and went to the zone. Skip pass. They like to utilize the skip pass. Salvadori got yes. loose underneath. Hey, Salvadori, what a player he's become. Jimmy V, we got another Paisan. Salvadori, Valvano, Vitale. Carolina has led by as many as nine. That's the biggest margin that Duke has seen all year long. alley -oop. Reese actually threw it in, and it's a three-point bucket. Do you believe that? I can't believe it. I tell you, Thomas Hildo stepping right up on that seam, shooting that jumper against the zone. Turnaround jumper, Salvadori over Leitner. I mean, you talk about an improved player. Here in the second half, and we are at the 10-minute mark in the ballgame. North Carolina leads by five. I think that North Carolina keeping Duke away from the free throw line and getting the ball into Montrose. He is showing why Bob Gibbons rated him number one coming out of high school. Players make the big shot. The stars usually rise. Christian Leitner with nine points. He has five in the second half. Look at that eye. Look at that eye. Don't worry, Mrs. Montrose. It'll be okay. I know I'd be concerned if I was a mom and dad watching, seeing my son's eye. Wow. Montrose, 10 points, six rebounds. Just having an outstanding game. He has really done more than neutralize Duke inside. He's outplayed them. Oh, he really has outplayed their interior people. Montrose hits again. Three minutes to go against Florida State. They win. 1-10 to go here. Duke with a chance to tie or take the lead. Thomas Hill missed. Leitner with a follow. It's tied. Holy cow. They have scored the last six points to tie it at 73. 48 seconds to go. Lean in by Phelps. He'll draw the foul on Bobby Hurley. As the first, Montrose with the marks of a great battle underneath. He's got one on the other side of his head, too. Phelps hits them both. A two-point game. Got to be the right people shooting the ball, the Leitners or the Hills. There's the great dump down. Leitner, he missed the shot. Rebound to Montrose, and now Duke will have to foul. It was a great opportunity there to have perfect execution. Hurley reached in, Montrose with a follow, he missed it. And it's saved by Duke with 11 seconds to go. They still have a chance, I don't believe it. They can win it with a three. Leitner down the lane. He missed. It's over. And Carolina it's over. It. Oh, it's over, baby. 